That's really cool. What's the coolest thing about this? Probably knowing that those horns could stab you and possibly kill you. The Castinson siblings are having one of the best days of hooky ever. It's way better than school. Because they're getting up close and personal with these Texas Longhorns. They belong to their dad's friend, John Kane. John's hobby is raising Longhorns. Uh, I like the horns. Uh, I like the colors, they're really neat. Uh, they're chick magnets. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> he has 13 Longhorns. Some of their horns measure seven to eight feet wide. They're a long way from their Texas roots, but these are hardy animals and can survive Wisconsin winters. Some may have even seen these particular longhorns before, actually. John's farm is alongside the I-94 highway between Milwaukee and Madison in the town of Concord. People have dogs and cats and fish and so forth, and I have longhorns. And These longhorns are his pets. He bought the first one in 2008 from a trucker. It was a bull named Dozer. Then he bought a few at an auction, and the herd grew slowly. This is a childhood dream come true for him. I thought uh, when I grow up, if I ever make it in this world, I'm going to have a have a longhorn. And so this is kind of like you've made it. I've made it. Some people want a BMW or a big house or a pool. I got my longhorn. So John will take his friends' kids on safari-type trips, like he did with the Castinsons. He is big. <laughs> But he's also used to people just stopping in his large driveway to look at the Longhorns. In fact, he invites it, but be respectful, of course. There was one time a group uh, from a retirement home in Watertown came out here with a whole bus of seniors. Everyone has their thing. For some, it's art. For John, it's Longhorns. Even if people call him crazy. They'd be right. <laughs> For sure. For the Castinson kids, it's playing hooky. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. In Jefferson County, James Grow, TMJ4 News.